Ollie, this is a, a sad day for uh, a lot of people who, who admire you, um, but you, you, you've chosen to, to speak. Yeah, no, I, if, you know what I mean, what this club means to me and what I wanted to achieve here. I, for, for the club, for the fans, for the players, for the staff, I wanted, wanted us to take the next step to challenge for the, for the league, to win trophies. And I only think it's right that uh, it comes from the horse's mouth. Uh, I don't want to answer all them. Uh, there's going to be journalists asking me about uh, interviews. No, I'm not going to do any interviews. I want to get it out there. I'm going to leave the fr uh, out the front door. And because I think everyone knows I've given everything for this club, it, the cl club, means everything to me uh, and together we're we're a good match but uh, unfortunately I couldn't uh, get the results uh, that we needed and um, it's time for me to step aside. Three years almost well very nearly three years you've been in charge when you look back are you, are you proud? Oh very very proud of course it's it's one of those things that you dream of in your life that you when you when you've been a player uh, you've been a reserve team coach your next job then is the only dream and the only thing that you, you haven't done is to manage the club and I I have now and it's been it's been a ball it's been absolutely uh, enjoyable from first to the last minute so I've got to got to thank all the players because since I came in thank they've been the top lads top people some have come some have gone uh, but all of them uh, They've, they've been such an uh, enjoyable bunch to work with. Uh, of course, first of all, I, well, I, I want to thank, thank the board and the, the owners as well to give me the opportunity because that's it's not for everyone. And I've had the, the opportunity and I'm so uh, honoured and privileged to have been, been trusted to take the club forward. And I really hope that uh, I leave it in a better state uh, than when I came. And I made... Great friends. I've reconnected with some great friends. Uh, new new staff coming in. Uh, I've become really good friends with the other staff that was here when I was there. We've good friends and we we've connected. And that is um, that's what it's about at a, at a club like this with the fans, because the fans have been amazing from day one at Cardiff till till the last one now. So top, and we'll see each other again. Something you touched on there about the day one at, at Cardiff. Um, I, I, was, I was thinking about, you know, memories of the last three years and, and what we could just what we could touch on. And that, yeah. that in itself was a special, yeah, special day, wasn't it? Of course, you know, Marcus scores within three minutes or whatever it was, a free kick, and we went on a on a great run. I don't know how many games we won, but that's and that's that's part that's something I'm proud of as well. You know, the, the runs we made together that is a record in itself probably that the, the first 10 wins or whatever we had I'm I'm not great for numbers exactly but I, I know we did well the away run the unbeaten away run that's fantastic that's something we've I don't speak about when when we're we're in it because that's just not us me Mick Michael Kieran you know we, we're not that type of people but that's something for me now I can look back at and be proud of we better mention Paris as well, didn't we? Did yeah, we what a night. First? What? <laughs> yeah, fantastic. That's, that's probably the first, you know, first night that these boys experience what Man United is really about. Some of these boys, because we were down and out. Everyone thought we'd, uh, we had no chance against a very good team with good players. But they showed the Man United character and pride and that performance... I'll remember, remember that, of course, and I've, I've got a very nice picture of me and Sir Alex and Eric uh, celebrating uh, and some videos from the dressing room, so good memories. What about rebuilding the squad? If we talk about the squad that you walked into three years ago and the squad that you're sadly leaving now, um, do you look at that and say, well, they're, they're, you can see the improvement? Well, I've, as I've said many times in interviews, uh, I've been backed the, the board and the owners they've, they've backed me in in bringing good people in good players in and it's something I'm as I, as I said I think that I'm leaving this club or I know I'm, I leave this club with a better squad the environment is 
fantastic. It's it's an environment I'm proud of leaving because you have to enjoy coming in here, working. And uh, don't want to preempt anything, but uh, the two times I've left Molde, they won the league the year after. So all the best whoever takes <laughs> over. That's the, the expectations. Yeah, the platform, well, the platform's there. Yeah, yeah, I think there's there's potential in this club. We all love the club and we all want to, to see it uh, continue. And of course, you, the academy was a part of what you're bringing younger players through that as well. And, and I think the academy's clearly been revitalised in your time here. Well, that's that's Man United. That's in the Man United DNA. We, we have to bring good people and good players through. Uh, and we're good at it. The academy now with uh, with Nick Cox in charge and, of course, my... My good mate Dems is, is very involved and I'm 100% sure that that's left in, in good hands and that we'll, we'll see players coming through. There's been an outpouring from fans. I don't, I'm sure I don't expect you have been trawling through social media today, but there has, no. let me tell you, there has been an absolute outpouring from, from fans. I've wondered, You've always had a great relationship with fans, not for three years, for 25 years. Yeah. So what would be your message no, it's it's been a ball. It's let's keep this, let's keep supporting the team. You've got to stick stick with them. Uh, they've been amazing with me since probably since my one of my first kicks from on the ball. I scored with one of the first ones until now, and I'm sure we'll we'll meet again because if uh, if there's anywhere I'm gonna watch uh, football games, that's uh, from Old Trafford. So we, we we're gonna see you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So. Uh, if you want to uh, want me uh, pitch side with you, I'm I'm there. No, you know, I'm uh, I'm very happy with uh, and proud with, with what I've done with the with the good friends I've made, and uh, I wish all the all the best to everyone. You know, the staff here is we've we've been through criticisms and blah blah blah, but the way they conduct themselves and the way they work, the knowledge and the attitude, I, I admire them. And normally, you know, I you, I drive in seven, half seven at times, and you think I'm, I'm I've caught them today. I'm in before them. No chance. There's there's not been a day that uh, that uh, room has been uh, dark. It's always people there. Obviously, when you came in, um, we, it was a difficult position in the league. But you built from sixth in that first season, third, second. When you look back. At that, is that something that you see as, as decent achievements? Well, I'm, I'm proud of what we did. You know, the first run, first of all, that was enjoyable. But then to end up third, I, I love that uh, that last game to uh, Jesse scored. The, the way we we put the run together, got the third position, fantastic. Great effort by everyone, the team, the squad. Second place last season ahead of arguably one of the the best teams of in Europe uh, I think that's a, a great achievement as well and we were so close uh, in Euro, in Europe sometimes you know that that's a fine margin for you uh, one penalty or a, so we were close and that's something I'll, I'll always uh, remember as well that we semi-finals we've I know the foundation is there they're ready to to kick on and uh, uh, I'm sure they will is that the one thing that will kind of eat away at you a little bit? It's so close to lifting the trophy that everyone kept talking about every press conference about it with the importance of a, of a trophy. And it was so, so close. Yeah, you'd, you might say so. And you might go back in and say, if you won the Europa League, that would have been a success. But, you know, it's not the trophies all the time that is the the be all end all. I know that that day we need to celebrate that trophy. But that's fine margins. We know the work we put in is is so important, and to get to that final and to get so close, we've had to make so many good decisions along the way, and unfortunately, we uh, we just couldn't uh, score uh, eleven penalties on the bounce. <laughs> that's uh, you, you can laugh at it, but you know I look back at every single second here as with with pride. It must have been a tough time of late, Ollie, but. What next for you? Uh, I'll spend some time with my family. That's that's been probably the most difficult part because uh, through the pandemic, uh, with uh, Norway being open 
and here being closed, my family moved back to Norway. And the young one, he he, lo- he loves it back there, so we've lived apart. So that's I'll spend some good time with them. Then uh, watch the team, of course, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully the next manager who comes in, I, I want to support him. I, I, I want him to be successful. Hopefully, I've laid the foundation uh, for that to happen because I know I'm good at what I'm doing. I'm, I'm. 100% sure that to create an environment, a football environment, that's that's where I'm good at. And uh, at some point, I'll probably be back. Uh, so you're going to be a fan still from afar? Oh, I am a fan. And uh, I wish wish the players all the best. There's some very, very good players there, some good people. And uh, I'm sure that we'll, we'll see them puff the chest out and uh, they'll go on the run. You're going to be watching clearly, Oli. So, what would you say to the players ahead of you know another big game, which is just a couple of days away? In no, uh, Real? it's as I've I've, I've said to them uh, this morning as well. You know, trust yourself. You know, we're we're better than this. We we we've not been able to show it, but go out, chest out, enjoy being a Man United player, Champions League, the biggest stage. If and when you win the game, you're through to the next round. Michael's going to be in charge. Michael's. I've got the utmost respect. Is I I love Michael to bits. Becoming emotional now because he's top and um, nah, that's um, they'll be they'll be fine. I'll I'll watch them and support them. I mean, you're always going to be welcome at Old Trafford. <laughs> you know that. Well, I hope so. I hope so. Anyway. Well, it's been brilliant dealing with you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. See you soon.